Hi guys, so today we are on our Circle Direct podcast and we'll be talking about Lassa fever, a very dangerous viral illness that has been making headlines recently. This has actually even cost the NCDC to activate an emergency operations center nationwide due to the rising cases of Lassa fever in Nigeria. So I'm going to just talk about the history a bit. Lassa fever was first of all reported in a community called Lassa in Bornu State in Nigeria when two missionary nurses died from an unusual illness. Since then, cases and outbreaks have been reported in several West African states such as Bini, Ghana and Mali. The Lassa virus actually causes Lassa fever and is primarily found in West Africa. The virus is transmitted to humans through contact with food and household items contaminated with rodent, urine, and feces. So I'm just going to talk about that. You know, most of the time, if you realize, a lot of the ways that some of our local foods are prepared, such as our gari or cassava, a lot of these mothers or women that prepare them, they will just, you know, get them grounded and then they spread them on um, ground surfaces in places where rats or any sort of rodent can have access to. And from there, these rodents will urinate and drop their feces on it. And that's where it gets contaminated. So the symptoms can range from very mild to very severe or even very, very serious fever. You could have headaches, sore throats, muscle aches, and in severe cases, bleeding. It is when you get to this bleeding case that it can now lead to multiple organ failure and death. Unfortunately, there is currently no vaccine available for Lassa fever. Treatments, you know, sometimes typically involve supportive care, such as, you know, managing the condition, you know, getting ens ensuring that such patients are properly hydrated. And then we also, we also mention preventive measures. Prevention is very critical when it comes to Lassa fever. This includes, and not just to mention a few, practicing good hygiene. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, I told you about how we produce some of our food items such as gari. So when you're going to be preparing your gari, you should ensure that those gari are prepared in very clean and hygienic places. Places that are far away from animals or rodents or even any sort of human contact then you must also ensure that whatever you are going to ingest especially things that have been prepared locally you should ensure the food are prepared properly then possibly to your water source ensure that your water source is properly hygienic if you can't get access to clean water any water that you get after filtering it it should be boiled and cold completely. Healthcare workers should always ensure that they have their PPEs, their protective gears. They should also make sure that when they are collecting samples, they should ensure that they carry out proper safety measures in order to prevent contamination. It is essential to stay, to stay informed about these infectious diseases such as Lassa fever so that you can always protect yourself and your family members. If you also suspect that anyone in your environment has been exposed to such a fever or they are showing symptoms of Lassa fever, you should, you should report to your medical, you should, you should seek medical attention immediately. So for today, that is what we are going to dis that's what we are discussing on Lassa Fever. Remember to follow us for more updates and information on important health topics. Stay safe and healthy till we see you next time. Have a good day.